Hey y'all and good morning. I am still at home and it's like 10 something and I'm only halfway making the bed, just kind of like straightening up the sheets a little bit because it's late, it's like, it's late. But here's the good news. I got up this morning on time. I actually got into the shower early because I just kind of had a feeling things might get a little wonky and they did, but in a good way, in a good way, I'm helping clients. But I've been texting and emailing and doing some research and stuff for four different clients already. And it's not even noon. And speaking of noon, today at 1230, there's an event at the City Hall, I think, for um, community for, oh, great, low battery, awesome. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my, this one says low battery too. I don't have any other batteries. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I know it's low battery, so I'm gonna try to get through this really quick because I wanna show you, I'm wearing my Love That Hood shirt because I'm going to a Pride community event. The event is at like 12.30, uh, it's at 12.30, it's not like, it's at 12.30, City Hall, in Mesquite, a lot of controversy about it, but I'm going to show my support. Sufficient to end discrimination alone. Progress is incremental and vulnerable. And we take two steps forward, but we know the forces of hate can move us one step back. They can repeal laws. They can change Supreme Court precedents. They can remove equal employment opportunity policies like we have here in the city of Mesquite. But the love that drives our work is what bends the moral arc of history towards justice. Every time we advocate for what's right, each leader whose values of equality and justice we elect, Every person who comes out or completes their transition, that is victory. We have a duty to push our city, our state, our nation to live closer to these foundational values of equality and justice. That duty is sometimes grand and dangerous. The Stonewall riots, Mayor Milk's election, repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, or litigating Oberfeld v. Hodges for the right to same-sex marriage. I'm home now and Marvin is about to be home as well. And then we're gonna hop in my car. I'm gonna out back of my car, he's gonna hop in my car and we're gonna go to the inspection which is happening right now. I am dropping off most of my stuff because by the time I get to the inspection, it'll almost be over and so it's not like I'm gonna have like an hour to waste like in doing nothing so I don't need to bring work but I just need to bring a few pieces of paper because I texted folks about houses and in case they respond yeah so there like I said I'm just dropping off my bags I'll take my folders of the clients that I'm working right now and see if I can't find info for them but yeah, I'm mostly gonna be going and the inspector should almost be done with everything and we'll be going over what he found, what important things we need to look into further and then I'll come home. And we have the every plate box, which I need to remember to skip next week's because uh, we still have all three meals to make and we haven't made them yet. So I'm gonna skip next week's box. In fact, I'll probably log on now and do that so I don't forget and think about what we're gonna do for dinner. But I, ate, I ate, felt like I ate a late lunch. I had a BLT, <laughs> extra B, <laughs> crispy too, thanks. And so I'm not really feeling particularly hungry. Um, and also I'm drinking all my water. Hey y'all, it's 11 o'clock. Marvin's home from his volunteering activity. Did you have a good time, hon? Yeah, I'm a little He's tired. He worked like 40 hours this week and he volunteered twice this week, right? On Monday and Friday mm -hmm. from eight till 11. So that's kind of late, um, especially for him. I stay up late, but he doesn't stay up that late. So it's 11 o'clock now. I have five appointments scheduled for tomorrow three to show um, one of my clients a rent house, uh, three different rent houses, and then in the afternoon, going out to the country. Well, actually it's like, more like the lake. But anyway, um, one of the properties is on Lake Tawakini and then one is in Kaufman. 
showing it to one of our daughters. And to get to the first one from our house, it's an hour. And then to get from that one to that one, it's an hour. And then to get from that one home, it's like 40 minutes. So, hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. It looks like a very interesting property. And um, what else? I think that's it. I'm working on a video. The video is a, uh, it, it was a um, tour of the house and just days prior before us moving in. So that was kind of fun to watch that. I'm still, it was a long one. When I uh, loaded it up, it was like almost an hour long. I was like, oh, that's too long. Still is gonna be like 30 minutes because there was a lot of drama that happened that day. So uh, that's it. I don't know what else to say. So I'm gonna go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> don't forget guys, be kind to others and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.